the Nintendo Wii was released way back on November 19th, 2006, and was a massive success, with over 100 million consoles sold, and it broke the sales record for a single month in December 2009. Introducing motion controls, it blew everyone's minds, and became the most successful console of all time. While many of the games were cheap cash-ins on motion controls, some very awesome games were released for the console during its lifespan. Some were huge successes, like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Super Smash Bros., but many were overlooked due to the large amount of games that were flooding the market. Lucky for you, I'm here with five criminally overlooked Wii games that definitely shouldn't be missed. So stay tuned and let me know what you think in the comments. Released in March 2009, Mad World was developed by Platinum Games and published by Sega. The game sees the protagonist, a character by the name of Jack, competing on the world's most popular game show, Death Watch. The player progresses through each level, killing opponents in a variety of gruesome ways, attempting to build up a high score. The levels culminate in a bloodbath challenge, a time-limited minigame that rewards the players for completing a specific type of activity with additional points, and concludes with a boss fight within the time limit. The player controls Jack from a third-person perspective using the Wemo and Nunchuck combined with movement-based controls. The game features extreme over-the-top violence, yet seen in a comical light. The most striking feature of the game is the highly stylized graphics that use a limited color palette of high contrast black and white with splashes of red, partially inspired by Frank Miller's Sin City graphic novels. Despite receiving positive reviews, Mad World was mainly overlooked. It's never been ported to another console and there's not been a sequel yet. Mad World can be found pretty cheap and should definitely be checked out for fans of bloody arcade style action. Deadly Creatures is an action game released in February 2009 for the Nintendo Wii. In Deadly Creatures, the player plays as both a tarantula and a scorpion, engaging in combat against other creatures such as spiders, insects, rats, and reptiles. The two creatures have different playing styles, mixing between action-oriented gameplay and stealth-oriented. The Wii Remote and Nunchuck are used for both movement and attacks, and the game utilizes motion controls for finishing moves. Along with fighting various insects and creatures, the player will also be faced with fighting bosses such as a Gila monster, rattlesnake, and even a human. The game features great graphics for the console and some impressive cutscenes involving voice work from actors such as Dennis Hopper and Billy Bob Thornton. The story featured in the game also manages to be entertaining and funny as well. Upon release, Deadly Creatures received average reviews and despite heavy marketing, most players dismissed the game. Years after its release, Deadly Creatures have never been ported to other consoles and a sequel has never been made. It's a great game that can be found cheap and it's pretty unique, definitely not to be missed. Endless Ocean Blue World, also known as Endless Ocean 2 Adventures of the Deep and Forever Blue Call of the Ocean, is a scuba diving game for the Wii and the sequel to Endless Ocean, previously released for the Wii in 2007. Endless Ocean Blue World was released September 2009 in Japan and shortly after in the US. It features striking underwater graphics with a variety of animals including dolphins, whales, sea lions, sharks, turtles, and more, with around 400 different species of fish, mammals, birds, invertebrates, reptiles, and amphibians. There is also 30 legendary creatures to be found, with some requiring a special condition to be met before they can be found. The game revolves around the player's character, either a male or female, a student studying marine biology at a university who quickly becomes employed by r and Diving Service. In the game, the player goes on missions involving swimming underwater to investigate different species and environments. There is a ton of exploration, and the sense of discovery is my favorite part of the game. Upon release, Endless Ocean Blue World received generally favorable reviews. This sequel improved upon everything from the already awesome original game, and is something that can be enjoyed by players of all ages. Despite being over 10 years old, the graphics and sense of scale are really impressive. It can easily be found for less than $10 and should definitely be picked up. Dead Space Extraction is a rail shooter and prequel to the 2008 video game Dead Space. In Dead Space Extraction, the story follows a group of space colonists fighting against the infection of necromorphs, the reanimated mutated corpses of humans. Developed by Visceral Games and published by EA Games, Dead Space Extraction was released in September 2009. The game abandons the third-person perspective of the original game and instead focuses on a first-person rail-type shooter, introducing enemies, 
characters, weapons, and environments to the Dead Space series. Players also have some degree of control over the camera. The game utilizes the pointer function of the Wii Remote and can also be controlled through the Wii Zapper. Using the Nunchuck can perform melee attacks as well. The game was designed specifically for the Wii console, and because of this the controls are perfect. The graphics and intense gameplay make it a fun addition to anyone's Wii collection, and should definitely be checked out by fans of House of the Dead and Resident Evil. Upon release, Dead Space Extraction gained very positive reviews, with Nintendo Magazine calling it a first-rate introduction to one of the finest survival horror franchises in recent years. Dead Space Extraction was eventually ported to the PlayStation 3 and included with the limited edition release of Dead Space 2. It's also currently available to digitally download on the PlayStation Store. The Wii version of the game can be found very cheap and is readily available. So if you're not scared, definitely check it out. Silent Hill Shattered Memories is a survival horror game developed by Climax Studios and published by Konami Digital Entertainment. It was initially released for the Wii in December of 2009. The game is a reimagining of the first game and retains the same premise, Harry Mason's quest to find his missing daughter in the fictitious town of Silent Hill. But it is set in a different fictional universe, has a different plot, and altered characters, including new ones. Gameplay takes place in two parts, a framing first-person psychotherapy session and an over-the-shoulder perspective of Harry's journey through Silent Hill. The game does a great job of staying true to the core mechanic of Silent Hill while also introducing new elements to the series, such as in the use of the Wii Remote and its built-in speaker for various effects and scares. The graphics look great and the Wiimote and Nunchuck are a breeze to control with. The game upon release gained very favorable reception, including earning three Best of E3 awards in the Wii category for Best Overall Game, Best Adventure Game, and Best Video Game Graphics Technology. The game was also given a Best Wii Game Award by editors of the GameSpot website. In 2010, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation Portable versions were released in North America. It also became available on the PlayStation Network in 2014. Despite being ported to the PlayStation, the Wii version remains the very best in my opinion due to the ingenious inclusion to the Wii Remote features and built-in speakers. Currently, the game can be found for around $20 and is worth every penny. If you're a fan of Silent Hill, Survival Horror, or just looking for great Wii games, this is one that shouldn't be missed. There you guys have it. That's five criminally overlooked Wii games that I think you should definitely check out. With how cheap the Wii and its games are right now, there's no better time to check out the great library that they have available. There's a lot of junk, but there's a lot of gems as well. If there's any games that I should have put on this list that I didn't, please leave them in the comments and let me know your thoughts on my list. Till next time, make sure you guys keep it retro.